Let me tell you an argument about New York City, which I occasionally <laughs> hear, and I know it's not true about you, but whether you think it's true at all, and it gets at these paradoxes of globalization, mm. that in some ways New York City, or maybe just Manhattan, is fairly provincial, because people think and they're led to believe that the whole world comes here. In some ways that's true, but tourism and migration but you don't actually get the whole world here at all. You get a highly processed, filtered version right. of a bit of it from each particular region. And then people here, in a way, become more inward looking. They don't go as many other places. They feel everything's right here. They get into their routines. And is it possible that parts of Manhattan are evolving into this highly provincial place because of these cultural paradoxes? Uh, I think so. Uh, although uh, New York still remain such a dynamic place because you also have uh, great shifts in, in how what populations come here and how that uh, affects the city I think and so uh, there is that dynamism the the changing neighborhoods um, uh, so I, I still think in that sense it is a very vibrant city and it, it, it's fairly unprovincial for a <laughs> metropolitan city compared to uh, even some European. I mean, I'm I'm from Austria. And Vienna is uh, it's a cosmopolitan city, but uh, in the end, it's effect, still it, is, it is yeah yeah.